Mimi, a Seattle man we've been telling you about is finally home after trying to get back from Thailand after several weeks. After two failed attempts, he made it back to Seattle over the weekend, but tells our Steve Bunin that a pretty scary ordeal was waiting for him after his 35-hour journey. From the pier, I wait for about an hour and a half, get the ferry, the last ferry out for the night to another island get a ride from the pier on the other island to the airport, Samui Airport. I uh, get a flight there to Bangkok, have a little bit of layover in Bangkok, uh, then jump on a flight to South Korea, to Seoul, um, have a 12-hour layover there, <laughs> and then uh, about a seven or eight-hour flight from Seoul to Seattle. Wow. And when you get to Seattle at SeaTac Airport, how did it compare with how you were um, experiencing the other airports all along the way? In terms yeah, of yeah, I know it was crazy because I at this tiny island that has half the population of uh, you know of Mercer Island. Um, I get off the ferry and they've got someone checking my temperature, um, you know, checking passports, going through. Um, and really every other spot that I stopped, I was having that same type of protocol. I get off the flight in Seattle and, uh, I get through the visa customs in about two minutes. And I, I literally had to stop. I was, I, I asked the guy like, don't you need to take my temperature or you need to check anything here? And he said, nah, there's only so much that Americans will put up with. Yeah. Well, he tells us that uh, the CDC actually only requires testing for passengers if they're departing for South Korea. TSA, tell, TSA tells us that they're only responsible for security and not coronavirus. Uh, Simon says he has not tested positive for coronavirus, but is self-quarantining for two weeks anyway.